I'm heading to the garden to harvest some njama njama seeds, the garden huckleberry seeds. The garden huckleberry seeds are not edible, at least this kind of garden huckleberry that I cultivate, um, the African garden huckleberry with scientific name Solanum scabrum. It's a type of nightshade. We eat the leaves, we use the leaves like you would use spinach, but then the berries that this huckleberry produces is not edible in fact it can be it can be poisonous so i did um, save some of the garden huckleberry and they've produced seeds the seeds are now mature enough to be harvested so let's go harvest so i can show you how they look like so guys i bet you did not know that the garden huckleberry can grow this tall yes you can have the garden huckleberry grow this tall um a whole five foot three as you can see, this thing is almost my height. So if you do not harvest the garden huckleberry, don't cut the top of it. This is what can happen. So I've let this grow since March. Yes, I sowed the seeds in March. We are in June right now. And this is what I have. And the reason why I let it grow this tall, one was to experiment. And then two, in my head, if I let it just grow, then it's going to produce seeds sooner. That was the idea. Uh, these ones here they have some seeds here let me show you so here are like some of the seeds you see how they are green when they're green like this it's not mature so you want the seeds to turn color it will turn a nice purple color and then um, that's when the seeds are mature and ready for harvesting so this one here has a bunch of seeds, but most of them are still green. I'm going to be harvesting from another set, which I will show you in a moment. All right, let's go and harvest the seeds. I'm going to be harvesting the seeds from, from this one right here. See, Do you see all of the mature seeds, all of the purple seeds. This is the Bamoon, the one from Fumbot, the big leaf, Njama Njama. I have a bunch of very ripe seeds. Look at that deep purple color. All right, guys, I've harvested the seeds. This is what we have. I need to measure to see how much but i'm guessing maybe about two cups of the seeds the next step in the process is going to be to actually um, get the seeds out of these berries There are many different methods to extract the seeds from the berries, but the method I'm going to use is fermentation. So what I will do is I will crush the berries, put the crushed berries in water. By doing so, the seeds are going to settle to the bottom and then the other matter will float on top. I will decant that and then put in water again, maybe about three times, and then I will strain out the seeds and let it dry and yeah that's what i will that's what i will do to save the seeds that's what we are looking at guys the crushed seeds see the seeds are already settling at the bottom and then the other extra stuff is gonna stay on top and I'll let this sit until tomorrow and we continue the process all right guys it's been 24 hours and this is what we're looking at right here so what I will do now is try to separate out the seeds from all of this stuff. 
a lot of the seeds have settled at the bottom of the container so i'm gonna use this now to try to separate this out 